Welcome to the Irene Michelle Show. I'm Irene Michelle, and today we're chopping it up with my little youngsters today. We gonna kick it about, like, you know, it's a new year. It's about to be a new year tomorrow, y'all. Like, so what has 2015 either taught you or brought you, good or bad? That lost a lot of people this year. Friends and family just been messed up this year. Uh, tell me you can't really trust everybody and stay focused on what you want to become on. Uh, it taught me um, kids are age ain't fighting no more. Kids are age killing people. So, like, um, so the new year coming, so what, what, what y'all gonna do with it? We're gonna change, make sure we stay in school, do right, get our education, try to become something in life. Not trying to be in these streets getting killed or going to jail. Uh, we we was gonna start in the studio and rapping a little bit. Oh See rapping. How we sound. Rapping? Okay. Okay. Uh get get a job. I make my own money. Right, I know yeah. that's right. Uh, I don't I really don't know yet. You just to it come. Right. See what I'm gonna do with it. Alright. Okay, well music. Like, music is a big influence in everybody's life. So, like, who your favorite rapper? Or, like, Detroit. Like, who 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 rocking in Detroit? Like, who the best Detroit artist out here? Dex Osama. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Dex too. He's Re- straight. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, Dex Osama and Payroll. Calico. Calico. Yeah. Shoe Shoe money. money. Okay, that's what's up. So, like, out of you four young men, like, what do you guys have in common as far as, like, what do you think that y'all have in common? Well, we're raised by single mothers. So, how how is that? It's hard. Is it? Hard getting around. So, how hard is it? Like, tell me, like, how hard is it be, being in a single mother home? Like, you miss your daddy, like, what? what? Yeah, like, we're not getting raped, like... Like, wish we had our, like, father so we can be taught by a man so he can teach us how to live in this world. Because it's hard out here. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> how is it being raised in a single mother home? Oh, it's hard. Like, do y'all miss y'all father? Like, do y'all need a dad there? Like, yeah. So, like, say if y'all ever become fathers, what y'all gonna do? Gonna be there. Be there. Kids. Like, but when though? Like, every day. Every day. That's what's up. We'll be back after these messages. I think I want to. Chocolate though with the youngsters over here. I want to know how y'all feel about crime in the D because y'all said Dexter Osama is y'all favorite rapper, and you know he didn't get a chance to make it. You know he was popping, and you know his life got cut short. So how do y'all actually feel about that situation? Like how serious will y'all take rap? Like if y'all want to be the biggest Tupac or Jay Z or Kanye West, like how serious will y'all take rap and what did lesson did y'all get out of his death alone? Um, we're going to take rap very serious and what we learned about Dex is like if we want to rap, we can't be in these streets talking about guns and want to kill people and stuff because if we're talking about that, people going to come back after us. So we don't want to live it like that. And you got to be careful out here. People don't like to see other people shine. They like to bring them down. I mean, do y'all think that he could have made it big? Like, do y'all think he could have been the next Biggie? You know, if he yeah, wouldn't have yeah, got killed? Yeah. Like, that, yeah. like, even just out of his death, like, the crime alone is ridiculous out here. So, like, what can people do as a whole to try to get this crime at a minimum? You know, like, as far as Y'all call each other bros, but just on the news today, it was a guy that killed his bro. So, like, what's going on? Like, what can people do to 
stop the violence. Like as far as so you know, people can make it. Y'all can be the next who y'all want to be when y'all grow up. You know? Do y'all think that y'all have it hard out here as being black men? Yes. Oh yeah. Like, what, like, give me an example of why. Like the cops, they're not caring. About, <clears throat> the cops, they're not caring about us. They're killing black people every day, you see. It's hard out here. You can't let everybody know what you're doing. Uh, you don't get trusted a lot. You can't even trust your own girlfriend sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got you a little girlfriend, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you just, just basically, you got to be careful out here. And, like, you just got to be careful because life is too short. And we'll be right back at that. Who we got in the building tonight? We got my boy Dillion saying he, wanna, he got something special for everybody. It's called the belly. Tell us about that. Everybody to get up off their seat right now. Y'all, you know, how can we keep in contact with y'all? Add me on um, Facebook at Real Russ. Follow me on Instagram, Detroit underscore Javon, J A V O N. Follow me on Instagram, The Real Russ underscore. Follow me on Instagram, Holy underscore Karan. Thank Back to the Irene Michelle show. I got King Lino on the couch with me. He just stopped back by with his new music, RX Overdose 0.5. 1.5. 1.5. Okay, excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> so, music. Okay, how you feel about this album? Well, this album was just like I was going through some stuff, leaving different music people that was working. I was working with, and I just branched off, and I just put a bunch of music together that I thought that was good quality music and put it out. It's not like a part two, it's just like a 1.5, just a couple songs that I decided to leak just for myself, just to put out, just to make sure myself I feel was still relevant. Okay, so you said you had to leave a few people, so. Yeah, I mean, I ain't leave a few people, it's just that I had to, well, music is not just always the music, like me making a song is 10% of the thing, you feel me? I I had to come with a group of people that all wanted to do music and all wanted to support Bambolino as just uh, mm -hmm. artists, you feel me, more than just a friend. So that's what took me so long for me to come with something else. So I just dropped one point five just to let people know that the music is still coming, you feel me? And part two is going to be like a whole different structure of it. So this album is popping. So what's your favorite track my, on my, the album? Probably booling, just because, I mean, it means a lot to me. That's what I do all the day. I be booling. I don't really be doing shit with my peoples, you know? So music is you. Music is what you want to do. Like I was music. born into a, a music family. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. My great-grandmother, I ain't want to go get too far in that, but my great-grandmother, she, had, she was the first lady, first black that. lady to have a record company oh. ever. So wow. That was... But really, I ain't gonna go into that, but it's just music always been something that I've, you know, treasured. Okay, so music is my thing, too. Like, I love music, and I support my city to the fullest. Like, if you got music and you rocking, I'm rocking with you. As long as you feeling you more than I'm feeling you, then do your thing. But I want to ask you, like, you know, billboards. The billboard list came out with this little list, and then I think it was a sad day in hip-hop for me, because Tupac wasn't on there. 
Well, um, yeah, I mean, Tupac was a dope artist, but I mean, you don't know why people. I, mean, I don't know why people say that. You don't know why people. They ain't talking about Tupac. Like that. To us, we all know in the world that Tupac is 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 one of the greatest. So to me, that Billboard list doesn't just. It's just a piece of paper. Uh, but do Everybody you want else? to make it to the billboard list? Of course I do. Uh, but right. if I know that if me and all of me and all of the my culture know that I'm the best, I don't need no billboard list to tell me okay. what I'm doing. You feel me? Everybody know. It's just that just gonna happen just to try to make me feel like I'm not. When everybody know that Tupac was legendary. That's what's up. Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. But it was a sad day at hip hop. Yeah, it was. It was. I felt like he should. So you got said Joe. Best album, your best track on the album is what? Bullet. Play it for us, uh, Freak Show. RJ. Yeah, yeah. nigga. Mama Lino. Hey, Honcho, nigga. Hey, what up, RJ? You know I'm about to trip on this bitch. Uh -huh. I got you. I'm sipping act, nigga. You don't wanna act, nigga. I'm everywhere. You looking for me? Where you at, nigga? I'm with some trap niggas, road running ass niggas. Everybody got a strap in a fucking bag, nigga. I put this on my mama. It's loyalty over hoes. When out of town with a go, I fell in love with the road. Yeah, got my pocket stuff with them rolls in a bad yellow bitch, and she gon' stuff the whole load. This little bitch tripping. She keeps saying she want a bag. Told that bitch she get his home, and it's gon' get cash. I can count that money good, but never had good grades in math. Six hundred for a pint, nigga. Three hundred. Back with King Lino. Okay, Boolin, huh? That's smooth. I like that. So where did Boolin come from? Like Boolin, the title alone just got me. I mean, the title alone, it, it, it's got a lot to do with some gangbanging shit. Let me just let you know, period. But that's just my family. My whole family has been in like, a, you can say, a gangbanging situation. So, I mean, to me, I'm Boolin. But some niggas like my daddy, he would say he cooler. And that's just got shit to do with a whole different situation. But in... Good terms is just you chilling. Or okay, so tomorrow is the last day of 2015. Thank you, God. So what has this year brought you? What has 2015, 2015 brought, brought you good or bad? Taught you, brought you good or bad? Well, what I'm going to say about 2015, it was a good year as far as family-wise because I didn't lose a lot of people, you feel me? But I did lose a couple people that was, you know, I was like, damn, I never thought they'd die. But as far as, like, other stuff, it's been a stressful-ass year, and I hope 2016 be a little bit different. What I feel about 2015 is every year I feel like I could have been working harder than what I have been, you feel me? And I feel like 2014, I worked harder than I did in 2015. So, so 2016 is coming. It's what coming, you, and it's got to be harder what, than both of them. What you gonna do with it? With your music? What you gonna do with your music? Like, when, like where you want to see your music go? Well, right now, like you was on the Irene Michelle show. Tell everybody. Right now, I know where the music going is gonna go. Too. I know where the music is gonna go because back then it was just me. You feel me? And I just didn't know what to do with when, when you like I said when you're doing music, it's not just about. I got a good song. You got a good song, but how are you going to get it to the people? How are you going to promote people to let them know that I got a good song about to come out? It's a lot of stuff with that. But now that I got the foundation of the, the whole music situation, it's going to be a lot better because now I can present my music on a broader level. So it's not going to just be like about, hey, I made a CD. I can let my homeboys hear it. No, now I can make a CD and I can let the whole United States hear it. You feel me? It's just all about promoting yourself and making yourself be who you want to be. Okay, well, go ahead and shout out yourself. Shout out your team. Shout out your Instagram. Let people know who King Lino is and that you coming. Well, I'm King Bamalino. That's B-A-M-A-L-I-N-O. My Instagram, King Bamalino. Reverb Nation, King Bamalino. TopsMixtapes.com, King Bamalino. You can actually just Google me. King Bamalino. Anything. Black Hustlers Entertainment. Let's Work Entertainment. Lex Works Management, Trap Guy Management. I mean, I'm with a lot of different people that's family, and we all bunching together. That's what's up. Collectively, y'all coming together as a whole, trying to get... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then we got Lex Work. He really has been making everything happen. You feel me for me? Shout out to Lex Work. Shout out to Lex Work. You know, Sonny, you... you. <laughs> Just know when you see that black Ela or that Mero, <laughs> yeah, that's that's less work. We working, baby. <laughs> we'll be back, y'all. This, 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 this. Welcome back to the Irene 
Michelle show. I have on the couch with me, Talanda, and we're gonna kick it about just being a single mom alone. Like, like what are one of the biggest sacrifices that you deal with just being a single mother? Well, not having a, their fathers in their home. In the home, you know, all my kids' fathers is DC, so it's real hard to have four children raising them alone, trying to go to work, and really nobody to um have to watch them and um keep an eye on them. So you just make it do what it do, you make, make it, it happen. Yeah, make it happen. So you said your uh all your kids' fathers is deceased. Like yeah. is, is that gotta be her. Like like what what happened? Like it's just was they all got killed. Wow, murder in the city of Detroit. So how do you feel about that? Like how do you feel that's about like all pain. these black that's like it's like am I cursed? Can I uh, every man I talk to is getting killed? Or, or or like what do you think that like can happen like like do these what can these black men do to stop preventing you as a single mother raising your kids alone you know like do you think that they can do some change stop something? being in the streets get a job go to church i need to go to church too they need we all need to go to church so 2015 is coming to an end like so what has this year taught you brought you good or bad well, the bad things, first off, the first year started, my father passed away. So that really was painful. Then, then a couple months later, my cousins died. Then my auntie died. Then I had got another friend and he died. So I'm like, is, what is going on? Everybody's just dying on me. So it brought, 2015 brought me nothing but heartache and pain. You know, I hope 2016 brings me joy. So with the heartache and pain... Like how did how did you deal with it? Like a lot of crying, a lot of praying, just going to work. You know, I've been, my health got a toll on me too because I have high blood pressure and I was missing work a lot, being sick. So like stress, stress while I was stressing a lot. I hope 2016 brings me happiness. You said you got high blood pressure. How old are you to have high blood pressure? Thirty six. 36 so like where do you think the high blood pressure came from do you think it, it came from, from you being, it, a, being a single mom raising four kids on your own do you think that, that gotta, that's the majority of the part because my kids are so 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 bad and they don't they don't try to even help me like they don't understand like it's hard out here not having nobody to help you and they just bad um it was a situation that happened in detroit i believe a seven-year-old girl got killed due to like baby mama drama like like have you ever experienced baby mama drama and like what kind of advice could you give someone else in a situation that's going through something like that like like because that's like it it, it had to hit home to anybody with kids period you know yeah. i had i had um baby mama drama like it started in 2006 and 2013, the girl was crazy as hell. We cool now, don't get me wrong. We made up, we cool. But this girl was crazy. <laughs> and then all, all, over... all over a guy that didn't want her, you know. People need to grow up. And if, you, if a man don't want you, go find you a new one. If a man don't want me, I'm moving on. So, but you know, they, that, that body shouldn't have escalated to no gunshots. They should have just, the, the girl should have just left it alone. Move on. Find you another man. There's plenty of things out here. You know, me and out here. Okay, well, thank you. We'll be back after this.
I just want you to give some advice to single mothers or potential single mothers. What advice can you give these women about your struggle? Well, first off, I'll tell them, don't have kids at a young age. Get married. Go to college first, then get married, then have kids. Make sure you got that stable man in the household that's not into the street life or, you know, just um, make sure your kids go to school, get an education, and, you know, if you got to do it by yourself, then do it by yourself. But if you don't, don't be alone. But being a... I mean, but sometimes you be in a situation where you... You got to be alone. You didn't right, make the choice. Right, yeah, I didn't make the choice. Single, single parent. I know? just tell them, like, do what you got to do. Do your best, you know. It's hard, but it's, 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 you can do it. It's, it's, it's possible. It's possible. You can do it. Okay, well, go ahead and shout out. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Go ahead and shout out your Instagram. Let people know who you are and where they can find you at. My name is Talanda. You can follow me at Talanda3181 on Instagram or Talanda Renee Russ on Facebook. Thank you. Welcome back to the Irene Michelle Show. I got Mr. Carl Walker on the couch with me. What up, though? What it do? What it do? What's going on with you? Nothing much. Thank you for stopping by. You know, it's always a pleasure from a girl. Okay. Um, well, you know, tomorrow is the last day of 2015. What has this new year taught you or brought you? Uh, well, it was a rough start. I missed, what, four to five months. I had a uh, foot surgery. Got back to work. Uh... Patience. I learned to, uh, to deal with that a little bit in 2015. I hope to practice that a little bit more in 2016. Um, outside of that, the year has been good. It just ended on a sour note because my uh, truck got stolen the other day. <laughs> they so got you. <laughs> it's all good. Haters yeah. don't do what they want to do. Yeah, they roadblocks don't stop that. No, they don't stop. And, uh, you know, haters going to do what they do. And they don't do nothing but set you up for a better comeback. So, okay, like music wise, music like like you you want to get into this music life, like and like music is everything. Like, so how do you feel about music? Like, where you want to where you want to take it? What you want to do with it? Like, uh, the music like, industry to me right now is kind of on a down spiral. Too much bubblegum music. You know, the craft, the art, the lyrics. It's all missing. You got people like Young Thug wearing tight clothes, fingernail polish. It's just setting the wrong example for the younger generation. And the rap game make it seems as if I got to be a D-boy or a corner boy flipping this, flipping that to make my bread. It ain't all about that. Because you can be educated, and as long as you come up with some real good lyrics and it's good for the people to listen to, you have a nice beat, you know, people will listen to it and appreciate the music. But you got to get away from thinking that I got to get out here and move a couple keys because the reality of the situation is none of them rappers is real gangsters. Ain't nobody shooting it out. Ain't nobody flipping work like that. Nobody's El Chapo. They just doing it. It's all entertainment. And the younger generation got to separate the entertainment part from real life. And real life ain't moving dope all day. Okay, so you don't you so basically you not a street guy, so you the working man, so you get up and go to work every day because I see you got a ring on your finger, so you married, so you out here basically. I'm not gonna claim the street a hundred percent, but at some point in time in your life, you always got to do what you got to do to make ends meet. But doing the street life ain't the thing to do. It ain't the thing you know place to be. I mean, you get so, caught up real quick. So if it's a young kid out here that want to do music, like instead of getting into the streets and it, like they be like, oh, I want to be a rapper, but you know I can sell this five dollar bag of weed and you know I can get That's on. That's cool like, to sell so five dollar bag of weed to a degree, but don't let the five dollar bag of weed make you feel like you need to turn it to a kingpin. Right. You know you might need that five dollars to put some food in your stomach. 
as long as it's a cool, smooth transaction, then go ahead. I'm all for it. But trying to be the man, getting yourself out here all caught up, thinking you're going to be the next big meet, that ain't where it's at. Okay, and there's so, nothing wrong with working a nine to five. So let me let me ask you this. Is it a difference between kids that have to go to the streets versus kids that don't need the streets? Like, you know, some kids have no other choice but to get out there and get in the streets because they don't have a mother or father that love them. Some of these kids just do it just on the street for the influence of others. So, like... One key word you said in your question or response towards me is choice. Everybody got a choice. Right. You know, ain't nobody raised in the streets. Ain't nobody raised in a dope game. It's all a choice. We all come out the womb ignorant to the world. We don't know nothing. We got to be taught everything that we learn. And the older you get, when some of the younger generation actually become a man, everything you did in your adolescent years, you're going to look back on and see all the mistakes you made. You're going to kind of uh, recollect back when you had older people telling you, you should go this route, you should go that route. You downplayed it, looked down on it, thought it was funny. And in the end, you're trying to make up for lost time at an older age. It's best to get started when you need to get started at the beginning. Okay, so 2016 with this music, what you about to do with it? Like, what, like, what, what you, what you, what, what, what you, what you, what you gonna do? Like, like music, like you say, you about to put yourself out here. Like, what, like who you want to be? Like, uh, what other Detroit artists would you like to work with? Like, I'm willing to work with uh, all Detroit artists. What I don't want to get into is the mainstream artist thing feeling like the only way I could come up is if I get with a Rick Ross or a Young Jeezy or something like that. Uh, I feel Detroit is just as good as a LA, as a New York, as a Chicago, as a down South Atlanta type. You know, people coming out of Miami rapping and stuff like that. But I'm 100% uh, all for my Detroit artists. I love them to death and it's all good with me. So if I say DJ Free Show, drop this beat. Carl, what you gonna do with it? Like, like, what you, what you, where you gonna take it? Like, like, can I get a couple birds, like, just to see who you is and where you coming from? Like, I, I want, I want to hear something. Like, I mean, I mean, let, let, let us know who, who coming. Uh, on the freestyle tip. They like to make it sprinkle. Oh, yeah, they call it rain. I bring a tsunami. Better yet, a hurricane. We about to drown these holes. I'm talking flood them out. So much money on the floor is coming out they mouth. We at the Pantheon, going off them lamb chops. We need more bottles of rosé so we can make it pop. We got a couple booths, me and my crew chilling. My nigga Twine at the table, one stack to the ceiling. These bitches popping <laughs> pussy like they try to make a million. We came to turn it out. These hoes is turning up. They got the twerk show. We about to watch them shake them butts. They going up and down, swinging on the pole. I told Shorty do that trick. The shit was ice cold. No, something like that. Okay, I like that. I like that. So 2016, this is what Carl Warford coming to. 2016. I wish I'd have brought my notebook. I'd have gave you a little bit more. Coming to the music game, right? Yeah. Name is Prophecy. Okay, that's what's up. So go ahead and shout out your Instagram. Let everybody know who you is, where you from. Yo, Carl represents Seven Mile East Side. Catch me, Carlito's Way 313 on Instagram, Carl Walker on Facebook. That's it. Conversation ain't about money, you get the exclusives. The hot new EP by Motivation. You've seen them on War Star. You've seen them on the video shop. Now get the hot new EP exclusive by Motivation. Also on the EP, living my life. Why? Stop playing. Don't know about y'all. The hot new EP, exclusive. Available everywhere digital music is sold. The hot new EP, exclusive by Motivation. Get your copy today. Welcome back to the Ivory and Michelle show. I got Brianna and Javon on the couch with me. What's up, Brianna? Hey, what's up? What's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you? Nothing much. Thank you for stopping by. My so, pleasure. Uh, I want to ask you, like, you know, tomorrow is the last day of 2015. So, right. like, what has 2015 taught you or brought you good or bad? You know? Um, you know what? I can't say it's really brought me 
No bad, really. But um, I can't say that I learned I need to stay more focused, you know, and um, just remember to uh, get your rest, you know, because I got into an accident or whatever earlier, a little bit towards the end of the year, and it kind of put me in a little funk, but I'm starting to get back to myself again. And, uh, you know, all I can say is really you should just stay focused and, um, you know, make sure that no matter, like, uh, what comes on you just keep going that's the main thing is to keep going no matter what because as soon as you start to constantly think about everything that you're going through you will start slowing down and falling into that downward spiral but if you keep going no matter what you know you got to stay focused okay so i want to talk about you and what you got popping because you you into everything first acting and screenwriting and all of that so like like what What's your goals? Like, what's, what's your projects? Like, what, what you got going on right now? Okay, currently I am working on a screenplay with the lovely Irene Michelle. Um, coming to coming soon, probably I'll say towards the around this time, twenty sixteen. Um, should we? You want to reveal the name? Yeah. Or okay, uh, it's called No Better Love. Okay, and um, I don't really want to go into detail yet because I want y'all to be surprised. But I'm working on that, and I also start in my own juicing company. It's called Jar Me, coming soon too. Um, I'm really into like healthy eating and taking care of yourself and everything like that. But and I also act, and um, I write, of course, like I said before. And just looking forward to putting more projects out. And I want to start my own production company here in the city. I believe just like how Tyler Perry opened up his, I feel like we could have that here because everywhere in the city is somewhere to kind of resemble another part of the country you know you got the brownstones you got the edison area you got corktown i mean it's just so much art here in the city i feel like we need that here and it also opened up other opportunities for people well, you young and you got a lot of ambitions and ideas and like you, you want to expand your horizon so you know there's not a lot of young girls out here that's you know they don't see their potential like so like what advice can you give them it's like first like they might want to be the next actress or Megan Good or somebody, but they just like feel like you know they lack in confidence or they don't have self esteem. Like, wh how, what can you tell them as far as like getting their ambition up? You know, like go for it. Like, um, less talk and more action, and also to be focused on the right things. A lot of times, as young girls, we want to be in love, we want to have that somebody special, but. The person that's for you is going to come. Your main thing you need to focus on is staying on the straight and narrow because a lot of times we get in premature relationships and it stagnates us and slow us down from where where you really could be. You know what I'm saying? In progress, you got to remain focused because, like I said, anybody that's for you, down for you, have your back, they're going to be there for you and they're going to understand the process of you staying focused and trying to take care of yourself first because you can't be good, love nobody else until you take care of yourself first, period. That's right. You can't be nothing to nobody. If you out here, you know, if you so focused on this person, how can you focus on yourself? I mean, just really sit and think about that before you... You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have kids, and if you do have kids, I don't have kids, but if you do have kids, then your kids and yourself should be your main focus before any man or anything else. Because I know a lot of young girls. I know some personally close to me, and I just feel like, you know, don't don't let nobody tear you down. If ain't nobody building you up, then they really don't need, they not for you. And in 2016, need to be the first start you dropping people and cutting people off. So what you going to do with 2016? What I'm, I'm going to try to remain, like, I, you know, stay focused. And like I said, less talk and more action. A lot of times we say what we going to do, but we don't really do. And that's what I want to be about. I want to be about less talk and more action because I'm guilty of the procrastination and everything. So that's kind of what I want to do in 2016, make more things come to life. Okay, so you say no better love is coming to a theater. No better love is coming to a theater near you around the world. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and shout out your Instagram and tell the people who you are. Okay, I'm Brianna Giovanni, the actress, singer, songwriter, businesswoman, and um, my Facebook is Brianna Giovanni, and my Instagram is also Brianna Giovanni. Well, Brianna underscore Giovanni. Thank you. Thank you for having me.
to the I Ray Michelle show. I got LaQuisha on the couch with me. What up, though, LaQuisha? What's going on, Mommy? How you been? Blessed and highly favored. I know that's right. Mm, mm. So, this year flew by, didn't it? Didn't it? Where did the time go? <laughs> so, what has 2015 taught you or either brought you, good or bad? Like, it brought me good and bad. I had a lot of deaths within 2015. A lot of people lie in my life, that's been in my life, that's, it's terrible. Uh, I just learned, take the good with the bad, and roll with the punches. So like, LaQuisha, out of, out of your whole lifetime, like what is your toughest struggle? Like what is the toughest thing that you've ever been through in your life? Well, I didn't have a job. I was sleeping, not on the streets, but with people I didn't want to be with. So that was a very tough decision right there. So how did you overcome it? Ended up getting me a job, making more more money, got me a place, and that was it. So like, what, what advice can you give somebody that's going through that lost their job and maybe they willing to give up? Like, you know, I don't have know. Have to pray. Time. You gotta pray. God, God will handle everything. Leave all the negativity behind. In 2016, it's coming. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's your goals like what, what, what do you want to do in the new year like where, where are you going like I want to open up my own business I want to open up me a soul food restaurant oh, you like to cook yes I do like what you like fried chicken and collard greens yes all that good stuff <laughs> mac and cheese yes fried tilapia all that good stuff yes so you gonna get your restaurant on and popping huh yes by the summer yes I am okay so I want to thank you for coming to the show and let everybody know who you is. Tell them your Instagram. Shout yourself out. Let them know where you at. And tell them you come. Well, I'm from Detroit. And I'm LaQuisha. And my Instagram name is three underscores at Monk. Thank you. And have a blessed day. Well, the show has come to an end. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out and being a part of my first talk show. And I just want to thank y'all. Is there anything y'all want to say to the camera, to the audience, to the world before we end the show? Much success on your talk show. It's been real on the real talk, right, Ray? <laughs> Thank you and God bless. <laughs> it's been good to be a part of your show. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for the opportunity for being on your show and much success for 2016 and more. Okay, well, I just want to say that um, in life, you know, obstacles, we go through things, sacrifices and whatever, but roadblocks don't stop us. You got to keep going and whatever you're going through, regardless, you got to do what you got to do to be who you want to be. This is Irene Michelle and we out.